what's up y'all it's your gal jayla howard welcome back to the channel and if you're new welcome so in this first clip here i am just showing you guys my hair pre-parted and i did have someone parted for me okay y'all so if you're not new here you know practically every video i do a little dance that's just me that's just gonna be something a part of the channel i guess and i do love coffee so i was taking me a quick little break and i was dancing and drinking some coffee so i thought i'd share that clip with y'all and here i was just showing you what i've completed so far and how long the hair was okay so i literally just woke up and i sound crazy but let's just try to ignore it i hope it's not too annoying so this clip right here is like sped up or in a time lapse and if that's an issue for you guys, I have chapters and a timestamp. And that's where the actual tutorial will start. It'll be named and everything, so it shouldn't be difficult. I'd appreciate if you guys watched the entire video, but if you don't want to, that's totally fine. So if you did stay for this clip, then you see that even though it's sped up, it's still very detailed. And in a sense, it still captures everything. And maybe that's just me because like I know what I'm doing now. Or after you watch the clips at a normal speed and you come back and you see, you'd probably be like, dang, like that's pretty simple. Okay, so just another quick coffee break as well as adjusting my mirror and then showing you all what I have so far. Y'all, this was so cute. Like I definitely do it again, maybe a little smaller. Okay, so here I am placing the weave on my scalp. Then I'm holding it tightly with the left hand, like I'm holding it down to my head. You see with my finger if you look closely. And then with my right hand, I'm just twirling it and twirling it until it's tight enough to my desired want. Okay, so this hair that's in my right hand, I'm crossing it over to the left side like a normal twist. And then this new weave in here that's in my right hand, I'm tightening it like I was originally doing when I was tightening it to my scalp and then I'm just gonna twist it again like so it's really not hard now here I am adding that Mary's edge wax down the shaft of my hair and I'm doing this so I can kind of get that clean twist look rather than poofy and then I continue to twist as I go on from there and then I'll add it whenever I need it again okay so next up is tucking the hair which is honestly super easy if you're paying close attention but if you're a person that needs to verbally hear something I have a clip coming up where it'll be zoomed in and I'll walk you through it okay y'all so watch how closely I tuck my hair before doing the revolution I literally make sure my natural hair is completely hidden underneath the weave on each side and then when it comes to twisting I slightly twist my hair to the side and I twist it over that next piece of hair and I do this each time to make sure the hair is hidden it's so simple it's not difficult at all and the more you do it you'll get the hang of it and I wanted to zoom in and show you guys this part also because I had no issues with hair showing or coming out of the weave at any point because of how well I tucked it and the Murray's edge wax. So here's another close up of me tucking my hair. Just watch how I put that last piece of hair underneath the weave and then I go on from there. It's the parts for me. <laughs> I love some clean, good looking parts. Please don't get me started. Same method. I'm holding that left side down and then with my right hand, I'm twisting it and tightening it to the scalp. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do my revolution over and twist it. And then I'm gonna twist it and tighten it again and do my revolution again. And then add that Murray's edge control whenever it's needed and continue twisting my hair. It is so simple. It's literally a piece of cake. Y'all are going to want to make sure that you add enough Murray's edge wax or whatever your base is. Because if you don't, your hair will be poofy unless that's what you're going for. But in my case, I wasn't. So for anyone who still may be confused, I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret that I thought of when I was editing this. So this is my thought process when doing this. So it's to make sure that my natural hair is in the middle, like a sandwich. It's like this, y'all. Think of bread. The bread is going to be the weave. And then the black bean burger is going to be the middle, which is the natural hair. And then it's going to be bread again. I'm a pescatarian, so I had to use that black bean burger analogy, if that makes sense. And when you think of it like that, that is how you keep it tucked. So it's like you have that bread, which is the weave, 
black bean burger, which is your natural hair. When you cross it, it's gonna be in between that other piece of bread. Now, I know that helps somebody out there, but if it confused anybody else, sorry. Just watch the video closely and you'll get it. But yeah. <laughs> and what you saw me applying to the weave was just gel to kind of soften it out and make sure that it was smooth rather than poofy. Peep me peeping in the mirror. Ryan Little. <laughs> Yoga! Okay, y'all, so I ended up having too many parts, which meant that I had to combine some. And in result, that messed up how clean my parts originally were, which is kind of sad, but it still came out fine, so it's okay. Okay, so here I am just dipping the ends of the hair, and I did this to secure the ends, as well as get rid of stiffness and soften it up, which I ended up doing. <music> I just use a crochet hook and I'm just showing y'all once how to put it on there before I speed up the rest of the clips. Watch to the end for a little sneak peek of me singing. You know, I'm really shy, but I thought I'd, you know, share. So. <laughs> and don't get on my head about that singing because I didn't have a voice coach then. I do now. Okay, remember I filmed this two months ago when I was a heavy throat singer, but I feel like I've grown significantly. And I honestly forgot the camera was filming when I was singing that. I don't feel like I tried my hardest. I kind of was just playing around. The song was stuck in my head. But any advice, positivity only. If not, go away. Thank you. Okay, y'all. So now we're down to the foam part. I love foam. Gosh, I love it. I feel like it's so satisfying. I love watching it. I love applying it to my hair. If you guys don't like it, you're weird. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I promise. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this, or if not, skip it. Ryan Little. <laughs> I literally don't know why that always happens to me. It's ridiculous. Chapped 
on the side. I'm sorry, it is what it is. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you all in some way. If you're subscribed, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Comment down any video suggestions you'd like to see or if you just want to show your love. If you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Subscribe if you want to be a part of the family or if you just like my vibe or you like the video. Stay tuned for my Jamaica vlog that I have coming out as well as a lot of other videos. And thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.